going to dive right into showing you how you can access and add a menu to your Facebook business page as a tab on your page. So new for 2022, we have some new features in how you can access and make some of these changes. And then there's some new functionality to some of these features once you have the menu tab enabled. So as you can see here, we have just a typical page set up as a restaurant. I have, this is a brand new page. I haven't even published it yet. And as you can see, there's no menu tab here. If we go to the drop down. There is no menu tab there either. So the first thing I want to direct your attention to is new for 2022 is this edit tabs shortcut. Now you'll only be able to access this shortcut if you're logged into your appropriate profile that has access as an admin to your to make changes to your page. And as always, I recommend that you're when you're making any major changes to your page settings, that you do that from a computer and not either of the mobile applications from iOS or Android. There's just some limitations in what you can do from mobile when you're when you're changing the page itself. Now, making posts, you can do that all day, every day from mobile. In fact, it may be easier. Um, but so for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to dive right into showing you. Let's click on this new edit tab shortcut. And as you can see, it's just a shortcut to take us to the page settings that are there on that left sidebar. We're in the templates and tabs settings. So at the top, you can see we have templates. The current template is set as standard. And then I want to direct your attention to all of the tabs that are available. So here you can click and drag. You can reorder. You can select which tabs you want to have turned on and turned off. You can see which ones are turned on by the buttons that are available, but some of them you're limited to what you can turn on and turn off. So notice at the top here, we have the order that our tabs appear in. And then toward the bottom, these are our tabs that are currently turned off. And notice that the options are even grayed out. But if you see, there is a menu tab available. So if we just go ahead and try to click and turn that on, it, you can see it lets us turn that on right away. And it even tells us that now we have a menu tab enabled on our page. And you can see that the options even is now black. It is no longer grayed out. So if we go back over to the test page, we can see we still have the tabs here. It didn't add it prominently, but if we go to this more drop down, we can see now the menu has been added, but it's the very last bottom one. So Let's see if we can go ahead and remedy that by dragging and changing and rearranging the order. So what we're going to do is drag, click and drag and hold and move it up to the top. Let's see what happens if we try to move it to the very top. You can see that it did reorder it, but it didn't put it at the very top. In fact, if we try to reorder these, it continues to force that drives tab all the way to the very top. So how can we fix that? There's a, there's a few ways that we can fix that. And I'm going to show you all of the different options that you have available to you. Some are faster and easier than others. One way would be if we just turn this off and then we move our menu to the top. If we go back over to our test, you can see now the menu is top, front and center. And if we click on our more, we still see that we have more tabs there. However, if we leave that drives button on, it is going to force it. It's always going to force it. So another way that we can make this change is by going into the, the overall template that is selected. So the template is really what sets the default tabs for the page. So let's see what happens if we click on this pencil edit icon. As you can see, these are all of the different templates that are available to us. If you set up your page a long time ago, things we probably have some new templates that are available that maybe weren't available before. So you just need to select the page that's most appropriate for your business. So if you are, in fact, a restaurant and cafe food service, you probably want to go ahead and use the recommended setting. And Facebook actually was recommending this for us. And here it shows you just a, a little preview of what your tabs would be. Now, make sure that you do click on this apply template in the bottom. That's like the save button. Otherwise, it's not going to put those changes into effect. It won't implement them. And as you can see, now we are 
uh, the current template changed to restaurants and cafes. And you can see all of the buttons and tabs that have been turned on and are currently being uh, used for the page. So uh, once again, you can turn these on and off according to what's appropriate. Maybe you don't want, maybe you don't have events, so you can turn those off. Maybe you don't want people to leave reviews. <laughs> um, I think restaurants probably should encourage that. Uh, but that's certainly up to you. Maybe you have a catering service and you want to turn that feature on. And once again, you can rearrange these according to the order that you want to have them. And here, even if we didn't want that menu to be the first option, we could move it up and down. Maybe you have some fantastic photos and you want those to be first. So at any rate, the first three after the home is what's going to show up on your test. So probably just think of, you know, your top three and put those in the order that you want to have them. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is if for some reason you don't have this edit tab shortcut, just simply go over the same way you did before, go over to the left sidebar. In fact, this is where you get to change any of your page settings. And I do recommend that from time to time you go in and just check on these things and see if there's anything new that's shown up. But here we have the templates and tabs, so you can see that's just how we got to that other shortcut before. So now that you have a menu tab on your page, I'm going to show you next how you go in and edit that. From your home page, you would just click on the menu button here, and that's going to take you into some settings options that you can go in and edit. You also have newly available for 2022 some edit shortcuts over here. So either way, we'll take you to the same place. You can edit here or edit to the left, either one. Let's click on the edit, and you can see that this takes us into a menu. I've actually already uploaded a menu, but you would just click on add photo. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll show you what that would look like. Once you've uploaded your image, you would go over here and set up a name for it. So maybe we just go ahead and edit this to dinner. And that's the dinner menu that we would want to have saved. Now, a couple of things that I want to point out here, and that is that these are image files. So if your restaurant menus are set up, which most of them probably are as documents, usually a PDF file, you're going to need to convert that to an image file. And I do recommend that you use a PNG instead of a JPEG. And the reason for that has something to do with compression settings and the quality of how clean and crisp it will look on Facebook. So I do recommend PNG files for that. Next, you have some settings here. I believe that this delivery setting is usually all of these are by default. These are new features for 2022 and by default, they're all turned on. So just make sure that those are all appropriate for your business and save and turn on only the ones. And then you can go in and I won't go into great detail over all of the settings that you can add here, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Just make sure that whatever you change, you click on save. So maybe for mine, I might want to just go ahead and turn all of those off and then you click save and then you have all of those settings saved here. So next thing I want to show you is after you've uploaded all of your menus, some fun things that Facebook has added as features and we'll talk about the QR codes and insights next. Okay, so in addition to the way that we can upload those menus for 2022 are a couple of additional features that showed up recently in the last few months on Facebook. So last year we did have this menu QR code, but it's taken a new look for 2022. And additionally, we have a shortcut to get to our insights. Now for the menu QR code, this isn't something that you necessarily need to go in and edit or change. It's just a service that Facebook is providing for free. So you can access it here either on the left sidebar or by clicking over here where it says view QR code. So when you click on the view QR code, it just takes you to this preview. Again, this is just a service that Facebook has provided to give you QR codes that you can post around your restaurant so that your, your customers, your patrons have the ability to access the menus that you've uploaded from your Facebook page. Now, why would you want to enable this feature or use this feature? A uh, few reasons. Uh, I know a lot of local restaurants will print these out as a sticker and put them directly on the table so that patrons don't have to handle physical menus. Restaurants don't have the upkeep of having to maintain 
those physical menus. There's a big cost associated with that. But really, it's just in this post-pandemic world, people don't want to handle things that a lot of other people have touched. So all you have to do is download these images and you can upload them to any of your marketing materials. Again, print them as stickers, uh, put them on table signage, wherever you want to post it. Now, again, one of the reasons that you might want to enable this is that this is going to give you some additional insights. Now, some of this isn't currently full on yet, but I have a feeling that there's going to be more to come on the insights specifically related to the use of the QR code and how many people have seen your menus and are looking at your menus. So that might be some additional opportunities that you have there just to look at the analytics for your page. So I hope that helps explain the QR code settings and what that's all about and how you can employ that for your business page. <laughs> if for some reason you've gone through everything that I showed previously and you can't access some of that information, I'm going to give you a few reasons why that may be. One reason could be that you're actually not trying to edit a business page at all, but rather you've only created a personal profile. So you do need to make sure that you're running a business page and not trying to conduct business under a personal profile. A second reason could be that there are some geographic restrictions. For whatever reason, Facebook does sometimes have uh, certain features that are not available in every geographic location. Now, it just may be that part of the application is not fully developed for that country. It could be a language barrier. It could be a legal barrier. Not really sure there, but I do know that there are some geographic locations that no one in that ge geographic location has access to the menu option. Another reason could be now not necessarily for the menu tab, but there are some features that are not available that have thresholds in order to enable them. So you have, and there are some things where you need to have at least 50 page likes and a hundred page likes in order for some features to be open to you. The, like I said, I don't believe the menu feature, the menu tab is one of those features. And then finally, one of the biggest reasons that the, these functions may not be available to you is if when you were setting up your page or at some point, Facebook recommended that you opt into something that they brought out last year called the new pages experience. Not sure why it has that name. It's kind of a crazy name, but this is more of a minimal kind of more modern page look to your page. And that was part of the reason that they built this separate setting for people to opt into. However, when you opt into that, I know this because I opted into it for some of my other pages. I realized that you, once you opt into that, you have no longer the ability to go in and change some of your settings. So if for some reason that does apply to you, you can go over to your options menu on the far top right and you can click on that. You won't see it here, but you'll have the opportunity to revert back to the regular page instead of the new pages experience. Just know that it is going to give you a massive warning that if you do that, you will no longer have access to the post that you made while you were in the new pages experience. In other words, everything that you posted while you were in the new pages experience will be deleted and removed from your page and you will no longer have access to that content. It does give you the ability to download all of that content before you finalize reverting back but you would have to then go back in and manually add those posts. So if having this functionality is very important to you, I do recommend that you revert back out of that new pages experience. And if and when Facebook offers that to you, for my clients, I am recommending not to opt into that just because it really severely limits your settings that you can go in and change. So hopefully that sheds some light on why you may not be able to access and add a menu to your page.